everyone. I'm Miss Jennifer from the Deer Run Branch Library and I wanted to share a cute little owl craft with you today that you can make at home with your kiddos or anyone who wants to make one. Um, this is a really easy craft and it's suitable for all ages. Um, all you need are a few supplies. A generic white paper plate. Nothing that's coated would work best. So you don't want the coating, just the white paper plate. Um, we also need paint. You can use washable paint, especially if you have a really little one, that would probably be best. Um, you could use acrylic paint if you want, that will also work just fine. Um, a paint brush or a sponge brush, or if you're feeling adventuresome, you can definitely just let the kiddos finger paint. Um, that might be a great time too. So the paper plate, the paint, the paint brush is optional. Um, and then you also need a few bits of construction paper, um, whatever sort of colors you would want to complete your owl. If you wanted to go traditional, then just some orange, black, brown, or even yellow for the eyes would be good. You could do like a super fun, like far out sort of owl and just use crazy colors. Um, use your imagination there. And then the op another option is to put a piece of ribbon or yarn on the back. You can glue or tape down and hang it. You can hang it on the door, door hanger. Um, use it for decoration in your house this time of year uh, for fall. So let me show you how to go ahead and make this easy little owl. So you're gonna take your paper plate, one like this, and you're gonna paint the entire front and the entire back. I would recommend doing two different colors, but you don't have to. It kind of just provides a little dimension if the inside is a different color than the back side. Um, but I will show you another one that's the same color and it looks great too. So we can paint that with a paintbrush, a sponge paint, you can finger paint um, both sides, and then you're gonna let that dry. I prefer to do it that way. Um, so here's my paper plate that's painted on both sides. And like I said, this is just a smidge lighter than the back side. So um, once your paper plate is dry, all you have to do is fold it. So you're gonna take the right side and fold it into the center and crease it. And then you're gonna meet the left side to the right side by folding it to the center and creasing that. Then to make the head of the owl, you're just gonna take it and fold it down. You can just use your own judgment if you wanna go a little or a lot, um, whatever you think looks best. And then you're gonna crease that. So in order to get that all together, you're just gonna take a little glue, which I maybe forgot to mention, but you need a glue stick or um, liquid glue. Um, I prefer liquid glue, but just add a little bit of glue to each wing, because that's generally the best way to go first is with the wings, glue those down. Then you're gonna glue the head and you're gonna fold that back over and glue it down. The next step I would recommend doing is adding the feathers. So you might need a lot of glue actually. Um, the feathers to the wings or the body, whatever you wanna do. Um, for this owl, I just added the feathers to the wings. You could go inside and just do the body part if you wanted to. Um, and I chose to do it with a contrasting color like white. So I'm just gonna use my paintbrush and a little bit of white. And it's just, you just sort of make um, like little ellipses or half circles, quarter circles on here. You can go down as far as you want. You don't have to do that. If you have little, little ones, you may not wanna bother with it. Um, if you want, you don't have if you don't have a paintbrush, you can certainly use like a cotton swab, a Q-tip. Um, that also works to make this. So you just kind of go down, get as many feathers on your owl as you want. So this one, I'm just going to go halfway. Um, and then while that's drying, you can move on to your eyes, your beak, and your feet. So I'm just using... Um, orange construction paper for my um, beak. And I just cut that into the triangle. And then I use just a template, like an old cup, to make two circles for the eyes. And then I did a bit smaller 
for the pupil part of the eye. So I just flip the cup over and use the smaller side. Um, or you could do like your paint and then you can just trace around that um, and then cut those out. I'm just not good at making a really good circle. So um, that certainly is an option. So then you're gonna cut those out and then you just glue them on. Um, I would glue the beak on first, then you're gonna glue the larger eyes and then the pupils. And then you're gonna cut out some little feet and you can just use the orange construction paper for that as well. And um, just, I would be free form, just kind of draw a few feet on there and then cut them out. And then you can take a scrap of ribbon or yarn if you wanna hang it up and clip it and just loop it and then go ahead and glue it to the back. And then you have a cute little owl that you can hang up or your kiddos can hang up on their door. Um, it's kind of a fun little project and um, you know, they can be creative with it too. It doesn't have to be a traditional owl. It could be a crazy owl, orange and pink and purple. So um, just have fun with it and I hope you give it a shot. Have a great day.